Yo, what up? We're here in the toughest football town in America, Aliquippa, PA. Aliquippa, stand up. We produce athletes. We produce Hall of Famers. This was once home to the largest steel mill in the world. Now, the average total family income is 34,000 a year. And crime's a problem too, but tough times breed tough people. When I try to teach the kids, it's okay to struggle. We can quit. This football program breeds Hall of Famers, Dickens, Revis, Law, and so many more. They motivate the whole hood to be just like them. We are a community built on love, strength, struggle, and most importantly, that Quip Town pride. They only graduate 60 kids a year, but since they dominate Pennsylvania football, they play up three divisions against schools five times their size. Quip's the defending state champs, and they're outscoring their opponents by an average score of 46 to 6. If you can make it in Quip Town, you can make it anywhere. Tonight, they're playing their rival, Central Valley, the only team to beat them in two years. It's going to be a movie. about seven in the morning. We're going to Mike Dawkins' crib. As you can see, we ain't had a hard time to find it. Yo. What's up, OT? That's good, baby. What's in up? the building. You ready to go to school? Ready to go to school. Let's get it. What you cranking to in the morning on a game day? Young boy. Y'all just look in the mirror just hype. Start getting crazy to this song. I just get yeah. crazy. I just be in my yeah. zone like this yeah. in the mirror just. Going crazy. All right, well, let's get ready, man. Uh -huh. Did you gotta catch the bus? Yeah, I gotta catch the bus. Say, there they go right now. Yo, hold the bus! Oh, hold the bus! What's the toughest part about growing up in Aliquippa? When it was a shooting right in front of all of us, I was probably about 13 years old. We was at a house party up Plant 12. What's the first thing that's going through your head? Uh, don't get hit and just like death. Though. At 13? Yeah. Now is it hard to not choose the wrong path? It is hard, cause usually in Quip, you don't have a father figure. My dad, he was like a relentless gangster. I never had a dad growing up. Like my mom was that dad figure for me. If you don't have a mom or a dad or anybody to show you how to be a man, you gonna fall in the streets in Quip that fast. So. That fast. Yeah, and football, it just separates you from everything. It protects you. We had like real actual Hall of Famers play here. Like, so like playing at that pit where they play that, that's, that's special. Cause they grew up the same way, trenches, you know, went the same school as us and they was just like us. So <laughs> it's like, stuff. it's like, it's like if they could do it, you could do it too. And like, mm -hmm. you either going on the right path and quick or you going on the wrong path. And most of my friends in my class went on the wrong path. Just like mama said, books before ball. I was trying to feel like high school again. You know, slide in class or something. Try to sit in the front. Maybe next time she'll let y'all come to class. See y'all at the game. Before practice, I caught up with running back Carl McBride and the man who leads the quips, Coach Mike Warfield. This is his second year running the team and inherited a tough situation. The team was underfunded and coming off a horrible tragedy where two players were charged with committing a homicide during the season. The community was hurting and needed a change for the better. And that's exactly what they got when they hired Coach Warfield last season. Where I grew up was where a lot of the, you know, shootings was occurring up on Lenmar. Right now we on Plan 12. Plan 12. Yeah. Just where it's at. Like this where everything really like popping off right now. When I went off to college, it, it got worse. You don't know what's gonna happen out there. Anything, yeah, sure. A violent start to the new year in Aliquippa. My mother lived here. Other people must live here. I mean, we can't even sit on the porch. Male teenager died as a result of these gunshots. There were some things going on that, you know, I just couldn't sit back and not try to do anything. Coach Mike does a lot for the team, man. Actually, I knew Coach Mike before football. And then uh, 2001, I got on with the DEA. Before he was Coach Mike, yeah. he was Officer Warfield. Yeah. Me being from here, I could have went and worked anywhere and not have to worry about it. For some reason, I'm not built that way. So one day, cops banging on the door, maybe one in the morning. But I'm like, who waking me up on my sleep? They start going through everything, raiding it. They pick me and my little sister up. And there are some kids that, that's on the team now. I know I affected to a certain degree. He like, just everybody get on the ground. Got my grandma on the ground. She grandma like, on the yeah, ground, grandma. Too? I don't really know what's going on. I just knew that 
my uncle was in it. Did you at that point see him in a different space? Like, oh, that's the officer that did all that? Like, at first, I ain't, I wasn't rocking with him because he had my, my mom's on the ground. So, yeah. Even if I affect him in that position, it's not going to affect how I feel about him being the head coach. Like, when well, now that he my coach, he really there. I see him every day of the year. Like, we working, working. He tell me anything, if I need anything, I, he, he got me. And like I said, I do everything I can for them as I would do for my son, and I think they know that. I really appreciate Coach Mike, though. From the bottom of my heart, much love. The evolution's been beautiful. Right. I mean, you went from trying to solve the problem in one way, mm -hmm. and now you turn around and now you're cultivating a new culture. I mean, the things you've done for the school so far has been super impactful for those kids growing up. He changed the culture off rip. He came, he was cool, like everything started to get better. It was just smiles on everybody's faces. Got us a new locker room, field house, new weight room. He got congressmen coming with us, talk to us about a program that they got going on. Yeah, us jobs and everything, we're going to play football. He cared a lot. You can see the love. Because if he see that you dissing and stuff at practice and he see that something's going on, he going to talk to you. That's how he earned my respect, because like, his love right here for all of us. It's not just football to him. After a while, you would need somebody like an older man or something to give you that guidance to tell you like, yeah, you, you think this the life right now, but when you look back, you're gonna be like, it wasn't even worth it. Then we won stakes that year too, which is, he's that dude, he a good coach. Twenty-four hours left till game time, and these on, boys are getting after me. Their game is old school, and I love Step it. Step in there. Come on, boy. Quinn's gonna have to be just as tough tomorrow, cause the team they're playing is damn good. Central Valley's undefeated in the division. They're a much bigger team, but Quinn ain't gonna back down. You just make sure you stay vertical. He's gonna have to step up. Their offense is led by Bond Morris. It is all go route. Hit it! Hit it! Pick it! <laughs> Throw that thing up. Throw that thing up. Yes, sir. Yeah. And the defense is led by Penn State recruit Zariah Fisher, who's a straight up beast. This is how you know the team is family. We got the head coach in there at quarterback. And he's 6'6", too. You know he finna be slicing stuff up real smooth. The sun starts Take setting, and even right. though the team ain't got lights for the field, that don't stop him from grinding. Oh, yeah. Look at oh, my yeah. boy Coach oh, Mike yeah. in here running that oh, yeah. O. What's better than practicing in the dark? Michael Jordan shot free throws in the dark. Hey, getting closer. Third. Get on, huddle, and watch your opponent. We wearing black on Black Friday. Family on me, family on three. One, two, three, two, three. Yo, we at the Linmar Project. We're going to check on our boy Zariah. He's the toughest defensive recruit in the state. He's going to Penn State. I got to find out more about this. Yo. What's up? What's good, baby? What's up? Hope it's not too late. Can we come in? Yeah, you can go in. I like the baby pictures too. Look, got the golden cleats. <laughs> you must be good at football, son. It's my little spot right here. It's my state championship little thing right here. State champ? Yeah. You can't buy this. Is it real? Bite it. Oh, oh see, <laughs> it didn't turn his lips green. It's real. Describe what it's like growing up here. Growing up in the projects, it was wild a little bit. Like, I grew up with the wrong people. They started being in the streets and stuff. And my coach peeped it out and said, I don't want you in the streets with them, so. I separated myself and now I'm on this football stuff. That's when you knew it was real. Yeah. You get the big time scholarship, D1. Family's all excited for Rob Rob. Yeah. <laughs> now, what are your goals moving forward? Are you trying to get them out of here? Yeah, I'm trying to get my family out of here for sure. I want to play up there. So when I play up there, I'm going to feel like all my goals are accomplished. Well, before you go to Penn State, you got a big game against a rival in Central Valley. Yeah. How are you feeling about that? When they beat us last year, everybody was mad. We looking forward to this game. Cause they real good this year. We real good. I'm looking for redemption. There's some bad blood between these two squads. Twitter type. Yeah, they worked, they talk a lot. Central Valley borders quit, and a lot of people left town to move in. Coach Mike, he, he live in CV. He said, I can't even take out my trash while I'm staring at But the ones who stayed may quit the special place that it is and take your football to the next level. Our fans deserve us to beat them, so. There's going to be a lot of emotion out there tonight. Let's get it. 365 days ago, I'm counting on that. Get Go quit! Y'all yeah. expecting me to come to this big rah rah speech? Not today. Tired of talking. We from quit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name.
since the away bleachers are condemned, that means home and visiting fans are sitting right next to each other. After kickoff, these boys went hard. The hits were coming from both sides, and you could tell that this was a fierce rivalry. The atmosphere was intense, and these squads came to play. getting after it on the field, but it's also hype off of it. The entirety of both towns are in attendance, so I'm heading up into the stands to see what Western Pennsylvania football is all about. We die with three football here. And this is what they have to work for. This is what it, this is gonna make them better. This is gonna make them stronger. This is we don't quit. We don't we don't quit. Good or bad, we'll still be here. No one will leave the stand the these stands right now. This community is all about their football. Back on the field, though, things aren't going quick's way. Well. They turned the ball over a couple times and fallen behind 21-0. Emotions are clearly running high, and this game means a lot. But sometimes, when you're getting after it too hard, you forget to do the little things right, and mistakes happen. Unfortunately, that's what's going down with Quick. Central Valley plays steady and continue to control the ball, but I gotta give props to Quip. They never backed down and they kept playing tough. In the end, Quip took the L. It happens though, man. It's football. And football's a lot like life. Some days it ain't gonna be your day. You get knocked down over and over again. But just like life, there's always a tomorrow. And the real winners are the ones who get back up and keep fighting. Well, I don't want nobody feeling sorry for yourself. Nobody. We don't want no sympathy. Poke your chest out and come back to work on Monday. We'll be all right. Think about it. This should hurt. Come on, bring it in, bring it's it in. It's supposed to hurt. Tight. Bet me on three. One, two, three, three, three bet. Three weeks later, Aliquippa had a rematch with Central Valley in the championship game. The quarterback, Don Morris, showed tremendous courage leading the way. Bond's mom tragically passed the night before the game. Bond played in her honor and made her proud. The Quips rallied behind him and at the end of regulation, the score was tied up at six. Central Valley got the rock first, scored, and made the extra point. And Isaiah Towler comes up to meet him there. No whistle yet. They're pushing the pile. There is no whistle to stop the play. It's going to be a touchdown. Wow. Then Quip got it back and have back Isaiah Towler ran it off right tackle for a touchdown. touchdown Isaiah Towler. Quip gambled, went for two, and couldn't quite punch it in. The season was over just a yard from a championship. Even though they didn't get a chip this year, I couldn't respect this squad more. They took one on the chin, got up, and kept fighting. That's what Quip's all about. Now Zariah's heading to Penn State to ball out. My guy's Mike is also off to college to study acting. And Carl's back next season as one of the top Pennsylvania recruits in his class. As for coach, my guy got promoted at his day job. Much love to coach, much love to the players, and much love to all my people in Quit. Keep putting it down. Flag on the play. You haven't subscribed yet? You haven't watched the rest of the videos? What are you doing? Get to it. Let's get it going. Come on.